So glad to be back for episode 17. I'm Colin. I'm Griffin. And I'm Cedar. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about places we'd love to live and our favorite fictional characters. Welcome to episode 17. Today we're talking about, as Colin mentioned in the intro, places you'd like to live. Now, we can split this up two ways. There's real places in the world and fictional places. So yeah. let's talk about real places first. Yeah. And I say that we give our guest Cedar a chance to tell us her feelings oh, on the matter. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> am I allowed to say Jesus? I guess I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, real places in the world I'd love to live. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is Australia. But then again, mm-hmm. there's big bugs. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm the person who can't, like, squish spiders in the bathtub. So Yeah. No, fair enough. Yeah, Australia would be really cool. Out of fear or respect for squishing the <laughs> Um, respect. I prefer to drown them in a ceremonial <laughs> way. Oh, good. <laughs> what about you, Griffin? Real places? I don't know. I mean, I've told you for a while that I'd love to have a summer home in Scotland where it's colder. Oh, that'd be that'd be beautiful. Because I hate the heat. <laughs> All of those kilts. Love to live in the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've said that before, too. No, mine would probably be... Yeah, I don't know. It's expensive, but I really like San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco's mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah, yeah I, I would like to live there. Nice, not beach house, but nice place on the harbor there. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. They have a kick and pride festival every year, too. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, they have lots of stuff that goes on there, so that'd be cool. But Not to mention Apple headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> it's just up the valley. <laughs> I have a but, feeling if, yeah. if Griff ever lived in San Francisco, we would just, like, lose him for a couple days, and then he'd come back, like, covered in dirt, going, I went to Apple. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> take the car. I just ran there. But, yeah, it'd be cool to live uh, in a place in Europe, because they're mm-hmm. just, it's beautiful there. Like, yeah. yeah, at some point or another, I would like to maybe travel the world and see what there is to offer, like, mm-hmm. France, I don't know, France, Italy, Germany, like, all those places, right? I thought that'd be pretty cool, so... Yeah. Well, our friend Tori Nickel, when she graduated, she went to a bunch of places in Europe. Yeah, she London, did. She did a year of school there, didn't she? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, now she's back at Trinity. But yeah, that, that'd be really cool. It'd be cool to go up there for schooling. Yeah. Like, not just to the States, but like somewhere more international. I yeah. would be so scared, though. Yeah, no, like... that would be really weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of them do it different up there, too, like education-wise, right? So it's Yeah, but that's part of the value. Yeah. Getting a different perspective on things. Yeah, but that would be cool. But I mean, it'd be even cool to like live in Japan or China too. Oh yeah, that'd like, be awesome. Like obviously, it would be cooler if you spoke Japanese or Chinese, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, be a little easier to adapt. But you know, and if you were used to living in like closet-sized apartments. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Good point. But yeah, and then there's places like, like everybody wants to go and live where it's hot. Oh, God, no. Not me. But, yeah, well, no. yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, I don't do well with heat. Move me up north. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's places, but there's places with nice weather that's not too hot. Yeah. So, I wouldn't know. I live in BC. But, <laughs> but there's places out there. I have a friend who goes to Kenya every summer. Oh, really? And every summer she gets her photo taken on the equator, like on the little oh, that's sign cool. that says, like, you're on the equator. <laughs> and every caption is, like, it's hot as balls. Why am I here? <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to live somewhere like that. Australia would be really cool, actually. We had a friend who, um, or a friend of a friend that went up there and worked and did jobs up there for a while. And it was kind of interesting because she was telling us a story of how she wanted to bring her uh, dog with her. Yeah. But they have a really strict quarantine law mm-hmm. there or something. Mm. Um, and it took, what was it, four months or something? To get the dog quarantined four thousand dollars later. Wow. Jeez. Like just yeah, like a whole lot of money just to have your dog come live with you. Wow. So I worked with a, a line cook who um traveled around the world and cooked wherever he stayed. Mm-hmm. So he spent like um six weeks in Australia and then to New Zealand and then he went and he cooked in like Asia for a little while and just oh, like cool. went around and just experienced how different kitchens mm-hmm. work. And he was just, like, so blown away by it. He's like, Australia is so great. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, be interesting to go away for work. Yeah. Like, not necessarily education or just personal satisfaction, but to do a job or something. Yeah. That'd be kind of interesting. Well, so especially something as universal as, like, being a cook. Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. can go anywhere and work for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be interesting. 
But there's some places that have some strange laws. Like, I think it's... No, it's not just Toronto. It's Ontario. The entire province has a law and no pit bulls or something. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. There's a... Well, that's the tip of the iceberg for strange laws. In the world. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, like, it's just kind of weird, right? But... Yeah, every place has some beauty to it. Mm-hmm. I know that there's like, I'm going, I'm going to Italy in spring break, so I've been mm-hmm. learning a couple of things, and I know like, there's this weird law from when the Romans ruled that's still <laughs> around that nobody got rid of, and it's like, <laughs> if you're within the Colosseum and you have a short bow, you're allowed to kill a Scotsman by shooting him in the heart, and you won't be penalized for it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I need a Scottish dude, I need a short bow, we're gonna go to the Colosseum. <laughs> That's a great law. I know, isn't that <laughs> that's, lovely? That's so uh, funny. Go to Scotland and find the rudest man you can find and be like, you know what? We're going to take a trip to Rome. It's all on me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so great. Uh, uh. So what about fictional places? Oh, geez. Well, now all bets are off. <laughs> <laughs> so many to pick. I don't even know. I, I don't even know if I could pick one. Camp Half-Blood. <laughs> oh, okay, Sue. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, the seventh grader in me is weeping right now. Uh, I, the movies ruined that for me. True, true. That was awful. Yeah. Not nearly as bad as Airbender that we talked about last episode. <laughs> oh, we're, God. we're not going movie into was, that again. That movie doesn't exist. <laughs> I wish it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, if we're going to fictional places, we have to split this up again. Fantasy worlds. No, no, you're just going to make it more difficult <laughs> to decide. No, what were you going to say? Well, which... which place among the different fantasy worlds okay that makes more sense well, that's actually not a bad that's not a bad way okay it. so start with um middle earth obvious <laughs> um but where in middle where, earth because yeah, you yeah. can't just like live in middle earth it's huge rivendell isengard i'm all about that tower <laughs> <laughs> i'm a i'm a mirkwood kind of gal myself <laughs> very door sauron's tower that's, yeah that's what <laughs> I feel like if you lived there, you'd be living in constant fear. <laughs> Just Not saying. if you're Sauron. <laughs> well, maybe he had some fear. We need. Answer. There's needs to be another podcast of which fictional character do you want to be, <laughs> and then we can separate that. Gandalf. <laughs> no, don't start this now. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, in all seriousness, for me, it would probably I actually be probably Rohan. <laughs> Rohan or Gondor, just Rohan. But which, just so which city in Rohan? Edoras or Helm's Deep? Helm's Deep. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah really I just like the look. It's really cool. I'm really right? surprised nobody said the Shire yet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Are we all too tall for this? Yeah. <laughs> There's too many little people and it's too like nice. There. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> it's like working with the Great Eights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's almost too nice to live there. Yeah. Like it's just like it's, you don't want to step on it, the soil there, because it's just too nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I would it's just so walk great. around and like pick creatures up and be like you're so cute and then, like put them down and keep walking uh, I, would, I would ruin everything they'd be like we have a town monster <laughs> all she does is eat all the food and call us cute uh, i think that sums up every fan base <laughs> yes. uh, oh i found a really beautiful comic the other day and it was like for Tolkien's 122nd birthday or something Mm -hmm. and somebody had made like a comic of all of the hobbits in the shower getting ready for like a hobbit party like Mm -hmm. they did for like Bilbo's birthday and they're like putting up the banners and one of them's like he's here he's here and then it's like Tolkien standing in like this giant crowd full of people that only come up to their waist it's like happy birthday professor and I was like (laughs) and I was just looking at it I'm like I'm not crying no I'm not I'm not crying (laughs) Uh, so next world um among to, fantasy worlds? Where to begin? Oh. Well, we can what go else with is Harry there? Potter. Who cares? Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't know if mm. there's an actual, like, name for the... The magical world. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't th- I don't think there's an actual like, title. Tamriel. What? That's not in Harry Potter? No. <laughs> not a... yes. No, but Tamriel. Would that not be the best? Yeah. Where it's just for anyone who doesn't know where the game Skyrim takes place. Ugh. <laughs> Skyrim. It's Ugh. the best. Ugh. It is pretty great. You can't break me. <laughs> okay, well let's do Tamriel first then. Yeah, I put okay. Tamriel. Uh, do I put Tamriel above Middle Earth? That's tough. You guys have to take this one away because Skyrim. Ain't Tamriel's nothing. got some pretty cool places. Like yeah. honestly, it's. You can only see a little glimpse of it in Skyrim. Yeah. Too. Man, it's so vast. I don't even know where I pick. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, why don't we come back to that? Let's do Harry Potter. Everybody can <laughs> relate to Harry yes. Potter. Because, I mean, everybody knows it. Every, I mean, we're like the Harry Potter generation. Yeah, pre- pretty much. We're the reason, like, kids are being named, like, Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're the Skyrim generation, too. No! <laughs> that's not a thing. We're but, the GTA but no, generation. But no kid's been named Parthenax yet. So <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Or Palgrove. Those <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. poor children. I'm still waiting to name my kids Frodo. Like, come on. Yeah. All of your kids Frodo? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I would like yeah. a herd of Frodos. Frodo 1, Frodo 2, Frodo 3. No, they won't be numbered. It'll just be Frodo. <laughs> Female Frodo. <laughs> It'll be like a hive mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, better question. What house would you be in Hogwarts? Hufflepuff. Big surprise what mine is. <laughs> Griffin hate I haven't Griffin had that Dole. joke for the past ten years. <laughs> uh, I actually thought you'd say Hufflepuff. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's not allowed in. I say no. <laughs> okay, what about you? Mm. Slytherin. Probably Slytherin. Yeah. Okay. It's so great. I mean, Draco Malfoy is the best thing. Well, since technically he was the first blonde-haired it's because he's a bad guy. He's like a pure, pure, pure blood. Yeah. I, I'd use a, I'd like use a different demon. word to describe Malfoy, but then Joffrey came. <laughs> and then, but Malfoy was the original. He knows where it's at. And Crab and Goyle are great, especially because Grab... Grab? Grab. <laughs> crab. <laughs> Don't mock me. <laughs> grab and Coil. Yes. <laughs> I'm because down. Crab changed his skin color in the last movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's what makes Slytherin great. I mean, if I could just change my skin color, like, by snapping my fingers, that would be great. Yeah. Be Do you good. want to know, like, each of the houses and, like, why they were created? Sure. Okay. So then when all of the founders got together, like, the Slytherin dude was like, you know what? I'm going to teach the cunning because I'm a badass. <laughs> oh, and I'm kind of a dick. Let's do this. <laughs> and then Gryffindor was like, I want to teach the kids who want to fight bears. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ravenclaw was like, you know what? I got this paint thing going down. We're just, we're going to be hella creative. We're just going to sit and probably smoke a little pot and then everything's going to be fine. We're going to make shit. <laughs> and then Helga Hufflepuff just showed up and she's like, oh, well, you guys got everybody. I'm just going to teach whoever wants to learn. <laughs> and then it's Whoever like, wants to be part of Hufflepuff and likes the color yellow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's what, if I, if I was last to join the party, that's what I would do. <laughs> Come on, Hufflepuffs are awesome. It's like loyalty and tolerance and we could probably turn into badgers if you really pissed us off. That'd be so great. An army of badgers just coming after you. Would you rather you turn into a badger or change your skin color? Badger. Change my skin color. I'd Wear like to, badger. I'd, I'd like to be black like GTA. <laughs> but that's for another time. Why did you make your GTA character black? Because I'm Why black. Why not? No, you're not. <laughs> you don't know? Yes, this podcast is being filmed in three separate rooms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. I'm just, yeah, Colin We've and I never are actually, actually seen cities. each other. <laughs> I'm in Vancouver, Colin's actually in New York, but we just do this online. You know, and I'm, I'm hanging out in Antarctica right now. We're just, we're just having a great time. Yeah. I'm she chilling with her, some penguins. As she pets the pet polar bear. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, getting messages. Shout out to Riley for sending us text during the recording. Was that God him? damn it, yeah. Riley. <laughs> I thought we could keep going with my scream. Maybe Silence, he'll call us again. Heathen. Oh, that was so funny, Simon. <laughs> yeah, when Riley called us, Riley called us during our podcast, and we picked up the phone, and, and we're like, because we were done, I'm just like, no, we are not stopping, so I pick up the phone, and I'm like, Riley, you're on the show, and we just like, hold the phone up to the mic, he's just like, talking, he's like, he's like, so Riley, what are you doing right now? He's like, uh, putting pizza in the oven, yeah. <laughs> something like that, yeah. it was just so funny. Yeah, Back on track, Fantasy World. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We, we what what others out. are there? We have Harry Potter. We talked about houses before. We talked about places to live. Yeah. I think I'm pretty down with, like, the Weasley's house. That'd be pretty is, cool, that actually. That yeah. beautiful. It's, like, 20 stories tall. Yeah, that, that's actually It's in the middle pretty, of a giant swamp. That's a pretty cool house, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. I'd be, I mean, I'd be down to live there. No, no, or, the Harry's little room under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just that, but filled with Apple products? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can fit a 5K iMac in there. (laughs) We can try. That's what the magic's for. (laughs) Um, That's great. What else? I mean, I I would, like, kill to live in one of those 
in one of the whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. My my glass was shaking. Um, <laughs> I would kill to live in one of those tents that's, like, bigger on the inside. Oh, yeah, like, that would be, that'd like, be cool. backpacking around Europe would just be so easy. Because then you can have all of the, your stuff in the tent, and then you yeah. just have to carry Yeah, like that around. one they take to the Quidditch game. Yeah, like yeah. The, the professional one. Yeah, that was so cool. And then you can just, like, hey, I'm going to hunker down right here, and you can go in and literally be, like, cooking stuff in your tent at your full oven. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah, just going to casually huge. bake a cake. Like, uh, Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what other worlds there are. Hyrule? Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't know much about it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, no. God. No, Hyrule is great. Like, yeah. There are actually, there's a lot of places to pick there. I'm trying to remember. A lot of them don't have really complex names. They're just simple things, like, mm. but that's pretty beautiful. What else is there? Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's dozens that are probably just not coming to mind. I'd probably like to live in, and excuse me for all the fans out there, because I'm a fan too, I just may not pronounce it right. I'd like to leave, live in, uh, I'd like to leave in <laughs> uh, Kakariko Village, because it's pretty, it's pretty there. Okay. Either that or Gerudo Valley. Yeah, I was just going to say, Gerudo Valley. Is Gerudo cool. Valley is like the only place I've seen. <laughs> yeah. That or Hyrule Field, I'll just like lay in the field and get attacked at night. <laughs> by warthogs and Spend forever goblins. chasing after a princess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um... It's like Mario, the things that you do for... I don't even know if it's love in Mario's case. <laughs> no. I think, I think, he, feel, I think he feels obsession. committed. Yeah. <laughs> I think he feels committed, and it's one-sided. Yeah. Maybe the princess doesn't keep getting captured. Maybe she keeps running away to yes. different... Yeah. You never know. <laughs> um, another cool place to live would either be, like, the Dungeons & Dragons universe or the Pathfinder universe. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah i was thinking of like like i was thinking of all the major franchises in my mind so i was thinking like lord of the rings and harry potter and then i thought of pirates of the caribbean I'm yes like, but those are based off real that's our world <laughs> yeah that's wait, based wait, off real wait. places but is tortuga a real place because i would be down to live there yeah it is let's go <laughs> why are we here <laughs> yeah no they're all real places be pirates Davy jones locker it's you know peaceful. how I know they're all real places? Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Okay. Because <laughs> it's like literally the exact same setting. It really oh, is. Oh my god. It's like in that area. Oh, good. I think they should have just had Johnny Depp voice somebody on that on that video game. Oh, yeah. So you could be like walking by a drunk in the street and he'd be like, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow! <laughs> and then you just like keep going. I have Johnny Depp voice Edward, the main character. Oh, that'd oh be my so god, can Edward you imagine? Edward Kenway, that'd be so great. Yeah, yeah. You guys know that scene in, um, I think it was like, uh, the second or the third uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie where he's like, I've got the job dirt. Oh, yeah. And he's on, he's on the side of yeah, the boat. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. you know that that was improv and that's everybody's actual reaction to Johnny Depp waving a jar of dirt over oh, his really? head and screaming? <laughs> that's so, so funny. So if you look closely, it's like Orlando Bloom just kind of like, what? And then Keira Knightley's like, oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, well, I was reading, I was reading something too and it was like things that happened um, while you were like, while people were acting, that wasn't intentional, it was improv. Like I think DiCaprio? Griffin, we talked about... It. Yeah, like, DiCaprio. Have you ever seen Django Unchained? Heck yeah. Yeah, that's such a oh, good Oh, I know that scene where he smashes the yeah. cup. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he actually cut himself, and he's like, yeah, that was... He just, Im- like, did improv. He kept going, yeah. Yeah. And, and then... smeared his own blood on the woman's face. But I oh. think some <laughs> of the... I think some of the best, because I'm pretty sure Lord of the Rings had the most, uh, real injuries. Yeah. Orlando Bloom broke a couple ribs falling off his horse. Yeah. Uh, Vigo Mortensen, who plays Aragorn, for those of you who should know, but if you don't... <laughs> don't don't shun the heathens. <laughs> <laughs> it's not their fault they're heathens. They can't help it. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, when he kicks the, um... You know in the... I guess... Is that the first... Griffin, Griffin call it out! Laughing. He's oh, sorry. At us. Keep going. When he, ki- when he, um... When the Riders of Rohan deal with all of the... The orcs. Orcs and yeah. um, burn them. And he goes and he thinks that Merry and Pippin have been burned with them and he oh, kicks the yeah. helmet. He actually breaks a couple toes. <laughs> and then that, when he goes down on his knees and screams, that's pretty <laughs> accurate because that was actually like, like he literally broke a couple toes. Um, I was found, I found some uh, behind the scenes footage of um, the second Hobbit, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Or I, 
I, I, they all just kind of run together for me. I feel like they need to be like one large movie. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like a, hour it's like a movie. five hour, five, yes. six hour movie. I, but it was the, I think, yeah, I think it was the second one. And they were in like the, um, the dungeons of, of Mirkwood. And you know how like Tariel is like at the door and Keely's about to say something like really great. And he says his line and then you just hear Orlando Bloom on a higher level and he's yeah. wearing a party hat and he has a glass of champagne and he looks down at her and goes, slut! <laughs> <laughs> and, and eventually Lily like looks up at him and is just baffled. And then Aiden Turner, who plays Keely, was just so livid. He was actually mad. He was like, that was some of my best stuff! <laughs> and he was just yelling. And then Orlando Bloom's just up there like waving his arms and like doing a little dance. He had like a birthday hat on and he was like, you so slut with your dwarves. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, if you ever thought about that, just imagine imagine Legolas mm-hmm. drunk in a birthday hat. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a couple for any of you who have seen the movie Seven where I think there was... I'm trying to remember the scene, but it was something with Brad Pitt where he either... Oh, was it that movie? It, it's some movie and it's Brad Pitt, I think. And he, um, he punches the glass. Like, he punches a right. glass mirror or something. And just completely, like, wrecks his hand. And then Channing Tatum did it, too, later on in a movie where he's, like, banging his head against a glass mirror or something. Uh. And his head starts bleeding. <laughs> it's like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what do you expect when you put body parts in, yeah. in glass? Like, Don't we have movie magic for that? Like, <laughs> Did you know they actually, like, can make, like, glasses and, like, vases out of stuff? Out of, um... It's called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like liquid sugar. Oh, And okay. they blow it like glass. Oh, I've, yeah. I've seen it done and they like, this guy like picked up a cup, I think it was on Mythbusters, and he like bit the edge out of it. Oh, wow. And started eating it and everybody <laughs> was really scared and then he was like, no, it's sugar. And everybody was like, oh. oh. Well, that was like <laughs> badass. That's cool, actually. <laughs> uh, so who would you most like to be if you could be a fictional character? Oh, Jesus. Or who is your favorite fictional character? You don't necessarily have to want to be them. Are we um, applying the same categories again? Well, you could have a, you could have some multiples. Well, I mean, we, there's we so didn't many. Do science fiction. Oh, science fiction worlds. Um, jeez, that is huge. Crap! I was gonna pick um, Joffrey. The <laughs> Enter- <laughs> we'll come back to it. <laughs> uh, is it possible to like live on, on the Enterprise? Because I would be down. <laughs> in the Star Trek universe. Yes. That'd be pretty now, cool. which one? Original, Next Generation, or the new movies? Um, it's, it's a mix between Next Gen and the new movies. I, I really enjoyed the new movies, actually. Like, it was pretty well done. The movies have Cumberbatch. This is true. I would love to live in a world where Khan exists, and I can look at him longingly. <laughs> that was the first time I ever saw him, and he did so well in that movie. Really? You never saw, like, BBC Sherlock? I did That is till, another I did world I would that. love to live in! <laughs> murder! 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 <laughs> No, I um no, I didn't watch Sherlock till after that, okay. and then I yeah, and then I watched it. I'm up to date now, but I'm I just like I I'm really in love with the scene. This is gonna sound so gross, but he like crushes the guy's head, and he's like, "You should have let me sleep." <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> like, come on, that is some top notch acting. Where his hair is all fleecy in his face, <laughs> and he was like sweating. I'm like, ah, oh, Mr. Cumberbatch, you go. <laughs> I'd probably have to pick someone from Star Wars. I'm trying to think. To be, or the Star Wars universe to live. Yeah, because that would be bad um, too. Yeah. Yeah, either a favorite character or to be. There's I don't no know. There's no women in the Star Wars universe. Hopefully there will it's be like yeah. in the movies. Yeah. Well, one of the main and, characters And most is. of them, like, die or end up, like, humiliated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's... General Grievous is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> He's a grouch. <laughs> Yeah, so is Scrooge, and people still talk about him. <laughs> Scrooge didn't have four lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> but could you imagine if he did? <laughs> He's so great. Um, I don't know, from the Star Wars universe, I really love Padme. Yeah. yeah. She's she's a top-notch human being. Yeah. <laughs> a top-notch human being, that's good. <laughs> she dies. I liked, Mace, I, li- I liked Mace Windu. Pretty much. Mace w- Windu All of the good cool. women yeah. in Star Wars are dead. Because there's only, like, one black guy in all of Star Wars. True. So he's pretty much got to be your favorite character. Samuel Jackson. And he's got yeah, a purple and his, lightsaber. His purple lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Samuel Jackson actually, like, freaking fought for that. He was like, I don't want green. And they were like, what do you mean? And he's like, I will only do this battle scene if my lightsaber can be purple. <laughs> yeah. And I everybody was like, no, 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 no. And he's like, 
go. I wanted to be purple. And they walked back and they were all like, nope, 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 nope. And he just sat there like and looked at them in this <laughs> glorious face of his. And then he was, and then they came back and they were like, okay, it'll be purple. And he was like, <laughs> damn right it will. <laughs> <laughs> we're all about equality. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't... So, yeah. like, characters to be in the science fiction universe, is that where we're at right now? Any universe. What about the Mass Effect universe? Oh. Oh, that'd be cool. Shepard. <laughs> I'd want to be, um... I like Garrus. Maybe Yeah, I was like... gonna say Garrus. But I wouldn't want the scars. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I yeah. kind of like Caden. I love that... He's I from love... Vancouver. Really? Yeah. He's not real. <laughs> that voice actor, sorry. <laughs> I was just about to point out that Joker was voiced by Seth Green. Oh, oh yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Mm-hmm. Joker is the guy who pilots the... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You said Joker and I, <laughs> I know. immediately oh, went to Batman. That's what I thought too at first, and then I'm like, Joker, set oh. Right. oh, right, yeah. And now I know, yeah. That's... And the guy who voices the... What's his name? The Mysterious Man? Or the Isn't it the Invisible Man? The Elusive Man. Man. The Elusive Man, that's it, not the Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who voices the Elusive Man is Martin Sheen. Yeah. Um... Who is Charlie Sheen's father? Um, and he was also yeah. That sounds like a horrible family. <laughs> Excuse no, Mar- me. Martin Sheen, like people talk looks about like Charlie Sheen, the elusive bit. People talk <laughs> about like yeah, oh yeah. People talk about like Morgan Freeman's voice, which I will admit is cool. But <laughs> there's there's other voices that I really enjoy, like listening to in mm-hmm. games or in TV or whatever. Martin Sheen being one of them, he just he does a good job of that. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be this character, but my favorite character in Mass Effect is uh, Tally. Oh, yeah. Is Isn't it? she the alien chick? Well, there's a few aliens. Well, Liara, oh, like the Liara's the blue Liara's one. The, the, yeah, oh, that, that's what I was thinking about, because I was like, Liara's I want to be cool. Shepard, because I need to get on that. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I still haven't finished number three. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Dude. I, should, I should go home and play that. Yes. <laughs> No, Leave right now. You've been that dismissed. Or, that or Shadow of Mordor. I still need to finish that. I haven't touched any of this in a month because we've been playing GTA every night. Uh, you <laughs> both know Tally is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Korean girl. Yeah, she's she pretty has cool. to wear the suit to, in case she'll die from infection. Oh, and who's that other... Oh, Well, I don't remember because I let everybody die in number two. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it just kind of happened. Who was the... um? Like the ninja girl. Um, uh, I in, can't remember. The hot one? In number two. Uh, well, I... She... Yeah, I, I don't remember. You're like... She's... Ah, she's like the first character that you I recruit. Because number two is all about recruiting for like... The big... For number three. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then everybody's just dead. And it's like, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> what about Edie? Oh, I'm all about Edie. <laughs> all about that Edie. <laughs> all, all about that Edie. Oh, man. Okay, so back back Edie's to cool. back to fictional characters. We just went on a Mass Effect rant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I like um um not Grunt. The Krogan, the original Krogan. Grunt is the uh, uh genetically modified one in the second one. Oh. Why can't I think uh, of his is name? It Rex? Yeah, Rex. Yeah. I like Rex. Okay. We can continue now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What about Reeve, the real Bastard one in the third one. Reeve. Is that the... Or, or not Reeve. Whatever. We should move on. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're on the Talk subject... Talk about Mass Effect all day. <laughs> if we're on the subject of, like, alien worlds, I think if a beautiful, amazingly written fictional character is uh, Ellen Ripley from Alien. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but that is a good alien. character. Hmm? She's not an alien. Sorry. <laughs> you, you know what I mean! <laughs> Don't she look at me like that. She did say from Alien, didn't she? <laughs> From alien, but she's not an alien. Oh, okay. Just so we're clear. I'm sorry. You're anyway, not sorry. I mean, there's a, a couple of really great video games that have sprouted from that franchise, but like all around for like the first real female lead, it was like really awesome. And I mean, like this this everybody this woman loved is dead. I mean, like the kid Newt, and then there was like the, 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 yes, the child was named Newt. I remember these things. Um, and then there was I'm like name the, my son Newt. Like the freaking oh god, there was the 
the the guy from I don't even know. And then there was all those people in the prison, and literally everybody in that prison. There was only ten of them. All of them died, and somehow this woman managed to survive, and nobody really knows why. It's like, don't you feel like after like four movies, you would just give up? Like, <laughs> but there's face huggers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's so comforting. My life has been destroyed. Come hug my face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I mean, like, great female characters come along ever so often. I mean, Kenneth Evergene was just awarded most influential character of 2014, considering, oh, that's cool. like, the Hunger Games, um, considering Mockingjay Part 1 actually started a revolution in Thailand. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they had to ban it because there are people, because Thailand is on, like, really tight laws right now, and their president apparently is a not-so-nice person. But, yeah. <laughs> um, they had, they were doing, like, the, the, like, the homage symbol with the three fingers, and they had giant signs that said, like, our president is, our president is President Snow, and there was, like, riots, and they actually had to ban it in Thailand. Hmm. So, like... I don't know, Ellen Ripley, Katniss Everdeen, great ladies of cinema are getting up there, and of, of novelization. Arya Stark, too. Yes! Mm. She's, she's, yeah. They actually had, they had a, um, convention at Comic-Con, and it was, um, like, influential women on TV, and there was, like, who was it? Oh, it was Marjorie also from Game of Thrones. I think Sansa should have been up there, too. Sansa's... Yeah. Like, mm-hmm, yeah. Great. And then there was, like... Um, I can't remember her name, but Katie Seagal in Sons of Anarchy. Oh, like the mom. yeah, yeah, I just yeah. Can't, I just can't remember Freaking, her name um, right now. What, what was her name? Gemma. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Have you ever watched Sons of Anarchy? Gemma is, like, probably the strongest character through the whole show. That, yeah. That woman gets the crap beaten out of her, and she's <laughs> still, like, fighting tooth and nail. And then that, the girl from Orphan Black, which I've never seen, oh, but... I, um, Ta- Tatiana yeah, Masani, yeah. like... <laughs> I'm having a seizure. This is so great. Somebody so, yeah, mentioned was... one of my favorite shows. <laughs> so yeah, that that was pretty cool. But yeah, there's there's a lot of fictional characters I really like. Yeah. I just like blonde haired kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> that are, is that just, your preference? You just no. like blonde haired blue eyed people in general. <laughs> no, okay, no, I just like blonde haired kids that play really great bad guys. So. I mean, Draco Malfoy. Joffrey. Joffrey. Yeah. Joffrey is the best character. He was one of the greatest villains, and, like, the guy who... Honestly, um, they did a really great job, and he yeah. did a really good job acting. The guy who played him, they did this interview, and it's like, okay, can you say, like, oh, it's sunny outside as yourself? And he's like, oh, it's sunny outside. And yeah, like, no, do it as Joffrey. And he's like, oh, it's sunny outside. And I was like, ah! Like, this guy's just... He's no, fantastic. But he's, he's, he's actually a really... Um, well done character. Mm. Yeah. I think at any point when you can make a character or create a character where you can actually hate them, like, from the yeah. bottom yeah. of your heart, <laughs> and to hate a kid, too, yeah. like, I it's mean, pretty like, impressive. He's, he's freaking 12. Yeah. Uh, like, it's pretty impressive. At least impressive. in the books, he was 12. Yeah. And I mean, if and it's called... funny, in real life, he's 23 now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like... Oh my wow, god. I didn't know that. Yeah. His child does not age. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And like, the, the crap that he he did to people, like, um, I remember the scene with Sansa, where he was like, come kiss my blade. And I mean, and that was oh, like yeah, a, that yeah. was like a really kind of like, pinnacle scene for me, because I like, I sort of like, fell in love with both of them. Because yeah. he was just like this pompous, this pompous dick, and he was like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna come back and you're gonna kiss it again when it's bloodied with your uncle's blood. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I and know. Then, and then she was like, so you're going to be in battle, and I just love the look on Joffrey's face, and he like, turns white. <laughs> and she just looks at him, and she's like, because all great kings are in battle. And he was like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> yeah, like, pretty much. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> I know who my favorite character is. It's oh. whoever Sean Bean plays because yeah. I always know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Poor Sean Bean. I found a vine and there's this there's this guy who does really annoying vines. But if you're ever bored, they're great. And he does he does this thing where he was Shout like, Shout out on, to him. Yeah, I can't remember his I name. I love you never change. <laughs> can't remember his name, but he's great. And he just like he's like winter is coming and then sean bean pops up from behind him and goes that's not how it's done do it like this and then he goes winter is coming <laughs> and like that's where the vine and the, and the dude was like who's that guy I was like, <laughs> the fact that sean bean is in a movie is a spoiler in itself <laughs> i saw a meme like that once he's in that new jupiter ascending, ascending? Yeah. yeah i got it right this time <coughs> i didn't say atlantis 
I want to see that or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's in that movie, and I don't know if I want to go see that movie because if he's a main character, then I know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, nothing could be worse than freaking Channing Tatum with pointy ears and a bad neck beard. Yeah, so. I want to see a That's movie. Okay. Mila Kunis is there. No, oh, yeah, she makes up for it <laughs> tenfold. I want to. I want them to make a movie called Sean Bean, <laughs> and then kill him off in it. Yeah. And but, just and then break the stereotype that yeah. you can't kill off the main character if your name's in the movie. You know what? You Scene know what? Bean. Scene Bean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Griffin calls him. You know what? He should have been. He should have um, starred in that Tom Cruise movie, Day After Tomorrow, where they killed everybody every oh, day and God. brought them back to life. <laughs> oh yeah, I never saw that movie. God, it was really dumb. It's actually based on an anime. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I heard about that. It was, no, whatever, Tom Cruise is going kind of nuts. <laughs> is he? Yeah. It's like he wasn't crazy stuff. before? Well, he was, but... Doesn't he have his own religion? Or it's like he's a real... part of Scientology. Yeah, he's like, he's oh, like the, the face Sorry. man for Scientology now. Hmm. Um, let's not get into Scientology. Let's not go there. Religion is for another it, day. So. I took a comp civ class and somebody did Scientology as like a powerpoint presentation and it was like tom cruise's face was on every slide yeah and it was like little speech bubbles of him saying like the facts about scientology it was oh, like, okay um back to fictional characters which tom cruise is not um john snow yes because no, he, he knows because he knows nothing so it's great <laughs> well like egret was, was she's pretty cool she was cooler in the in the books mm-hmm. but she was still pretty good for the, the tv show I mean, in the in the TV show, all she said was "you know nothing." In the book, she actually had intelligent things coming out of her mouth. But otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the greatest line. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I actually think that my that my favorite character was probably Cal Drogo. Yeah, Cal in Game was of great. Thrones or in general. Um, in Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. And up there in general because he like started off pretty simplistic, uh-huh. but then as the as he was just starting to. Well, I think we all know what happens, but as yeah. that started to happen, he started to become more complex, um, and it was just pretty character. cool. Um, the guy who plays him, Jason Momoa, is like he's got a really killer sense of humor. Oh yeah, and as you could tell, he's like a ginormous human being. But when he first saw um, Emilia Clark, that's who yeah. plays yeah. Daenerys, yeah? yeah. When he first saw her, they were in the lobby of a hotel that mm-hmm. all the actors were staying in, and he saw her from across the lobby and screamed. Wifey, and then rugby tackled her to the ground, <laughs> and I was just like, "Could you imagine just this giant, like I think he's Hawaiian, this giant Samoan. Hawaiian yeah, Samoan, man, yeah. like barreling towards you and, and like screaming and like tackling you?" Oh. She's like five three. Yeah, yeah. five yeah. four. She's 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 like a, a really cool character oh, too, actually. Daenerys but like, is great. but there's like, yeah, it was probably him or I like Bran Stark. Mm, Bran is good. Who is the kid? I actually like everyone pretty much. Who is the kid that had the sight that was like, we have to get you to the tree? What was his name? He, de- he... Oh, I don't know. He's in the Maze Runner. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what his name is, but I he's mean, good. The too. actors is, um, the actors. The actor is uh, Thomas <laughs> Brody Sangster, who is also, like, really great. He played, um, yeah. He played Paul McCartney in Nowhere Boy. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. If you ever get a chance to, like, listen to him sing and he plays guitar, he's a, he's a yeah. marvel, considering he looks like he's 12, but he does everything. I also liked the guy, the guy who was a knight and then gave up being a knight that follows Daenerys around. Oh, like uh, the Jorah. Older guy. Yeah, he's cool. I keep, I found this video a little while ago and it was like a, a summarization of Danny and Jorah's relationship and it was Jorah going, Khaleesi no, and Daenerys going, Khaleesi yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I got my favorite character. Okay, we've all seen, and we're not getting into the movie. But we've all seen Avatar The Last yes. Airbender, like, the series, right? We've seen the cartoon, yes. The Boulder. You know the um, Boulder? Oh my god. Does anybody remember... <laughs> the one that talks in third person. <laughs> Does anybody remember Sparky Sparky Boom Man? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, anybody, he is the best character. <laughs> anybody who watches Legend of Korra, he had a daughter. Okay, Okay. don't like, tell me. I'm watching it. Oh my god, I, I just, it's sorry, just please, so don't, good. Yeah, don't... Stop there, stop there. Okay. But yeah, um... The boulder, the boulder is perplexed, and it's like just like these things that he said. Oh, oh, oh my the God. boulder is the best character. Talk- Mike, Michael, and I were talking about that. Oh. 
talking Sh- shout character. out to Michael Miller. Yeah. Got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of like characters from from Avatar, um, unpopular opinion, but I did not like Katara that much. I mean, like, I, she, yeah, she was okay. She was like a, a good character, but I just kind of felt like she was too obsessed with taking care of everybody else when really she could have like completed this whole quest on her own. Yeah. And gotten everything <laughs> done, but she was like, nah. I need to take care of my brother. We need to feed Aang because he's like 12 and almost anemic and we need to like (laughs) go to the freaking, oh, I don't even know. But she was just too all over it. And I mean, favorite character from that series though was, um, Toph or Toph. Yeah, it would probably be, yeah, Toph, Toph, whatever. Everybody pronounces it. Tofu? Yes. (laughs) But she was probably It would probably be her. Or Zuko for me. Oh, Zuko was. But good. then I think like one of the most well done characters was Azula. Yes. That would probably be my pick for. Um. Best character development. Here's a. It's not really a spoiler. It has nothing to do with storyline. But um, in Korra, yeah. Zuko has a daughter. And I he, heard that. He yeah. names her um. Azumi or is Izu? Yeah, Azumi. And it means water mm-hmm. in a different language. And it was awesome because people pieced it together on the internet and they were like, Zuko named his daughter water after the element that saved his life. And then you remember Katara was healing yeah, him after yeah. he got like That's struck cool. in the chest. And I was like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh. waving my arms in the air. <laughs> well, I think that about wraps it up for this week. <laughs> we could go on with this for hours. But we want to know what your favorite fictional character is. And even if you want to go one step further, further where you would like to live could be fictional or yeah anything factual. anything fiction fiction uh, i can't talk <laughs> <laughs> fictional, let me take over <laughs> fictional fantasy world science fiction whatever you want yeah make sure to email us at gcpodantics at gmail.com yeah is that right yeah <laughs> <laughs> or comment on youtube whatever you want or we have a website too is there comments open on the website no, uh, but you can email us from the website. There's okay, a, there's cool. A little okay, cool. round email button at the bottom of the website. You can click on that. It's just gcantics.com? Yep. Okay, perfect. So check make sure you check that out too. Griffin did a great job on that website. <laughs> yes. Slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was great having you on the show this week, Cedar. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me, by. boys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for letting me scream and wave my arms in your studio. <laughs> No problem. It was great to have you. Well, that wraps up another week. I'm Colin. I'm Griffin. And I'm Cedar. I guess I'm here now. (laughs) (laughs) And this has been GC Antics episode 17.